dans les choses faciles. Et sèche-moi ces larmes de crocodile. Welcome back to the Dubai Expat YouTube channel. I hope you're all well and I am happy to see you back to another video. So guys, today we are going to do the full unboxing and review of the new Submariner Date 126610LV, which I recently bought from an official Rolex store. I'm super happy about this purchase and as you probably know, this is one of the hardest Rolex watches to get. There is basically a 0.01% chance that you can buy this watch for the official retail price and you will need to go the extra mile to get your hands on one. If you haven't checked out my buying experience video, do so as it was a very special event for me. Long story short, there are only two ways to get it. Either spend a ton of money for the second hand ones from the flippers, which are around twice the retail price, or you have to build a great relationship to your Rolex AD. But enough for the introduction, let's start the unboxing. So the watch comes in the classic green Rolex bag and is packed in the usual white cardboard box. In addition to the watch, I received the coffin with which these watches are sent to the stores for protection. My AD was so nice to give me a Rolex pen in addition to the watch as a gift. And the wrist shot, I'm wearing my Rolex Pepsi today, still my number one watch. Moving on, we have the classic Rolex cardboard box. And inside, protected by a thin foam layer, the green medium size Rolex watch box. The receipt, I paid $10,250 for the watch, which is the retail price plus tax. The overall cost were a bit higher of course, due to the import duties. Let's open the box and here it is. The beautiful Rolex Submariner Date 126610LV. Let's check all the accessories that come with the watch. Always a nice experience how my AD packs everything together in these tiny plastic bags. So we have two additional links that were removed to fit the watch to my wrist, the chronometer certification and the hang tag. And the bezel protector. Bezel protector, coffin and hang tag are quite hard to get with the watches nowadays. But again, I guess it comes down to how good your relationship with the stories. They probably try to avoid giving these things to the flippers. The warranty card in the new design.
and the warranty manual and the user manual. I will show you all pages so in case you want to read something just pause the video. Otherwise you can also download the manual on the Rolex website. And here is the watch guys. The Submariner Date 126610LV was released in 2020 by Rolex and is the latest generation of the most iconic Rolex watch. The LV version is nowadays called Starbucks. Because of the obvious color theme we can also find at the Starbucks stores and due to many Rolex nicknames that have their origin from drinks like Pepsi and Coke. On the other hand, many collectors are calling it the new Kermit as it brings the design theme of the vintage Submariner 16610 LV to the new case shape and upgrades the bezel to a ceramic one. Which name do I prefer? There was a good comment at my last video in which I bought this watch as the nickname for the Pepsi hasn't changed, the name for the Kermit should also stay. So I will continue calling it the Kermit. Let's start with the measurements. So the weight of the watch is 151 grams. The case diameter is 41 millimeters. The thickness is 12.3. The lug to lug length is 47.8. The bracelet starts at 20 millimeter after case and 21 millimeter inside the case and tapers down to 16.3 millimeters. The clasp has a width of 18.5 millimeters and a length of 45 millimeters. The Submariner features the freshly designed oyster bracelet which now starts as said at 21 millimeters and by that became a bit wider than the old version, but still keeps the nice tapering and sturdy feeling. The bracelet has a free link design and is fully brushed with polished sides. The bracelet is equipped with the oyster lock clasp, which prevents accidental opening and comes with the glide lock for fine adjustment without any tools on the go. The Submariner clasp and bracelet are close to perfection and I haven't found any better bracelet and clasp yet. It just fits perfect to any wrist. The watch and bracelet are both made out of the famous oyster steel which is a highly corrosion resistant steel. And this makes a lot of sense for a dive watch. Maybe you are not a diver, but if you want to wear your watch during a swim in the pool or the ocean with salt water, a good corrosion resistance is key. The case features a screw down case back, a screw down crown and a trip lock waterproofness system that makes the watch waterproof up to 300 meter. So a real diver's watch. The watch is easy to set. You just unscrew the crown, adjust the date in the first position and adjust the time in the second position. Push it all the way back in and wind the watch to its full power reserve of 70 hours. Screw it back in and you're ready to go. The bezel is a unidirectional rotatable diver's bezel with a 60 minute graduation and 120 micro positions. The inlay is made out of ceramic and due to that virtually scratch proof. 
At the 12 o'clock position, you can find a luminescent capsule for dark conditions. The teeth at the edge of the bezel offer great grip and everything about this bezel feels of high quality, finishing and is built in a very robust and sturdy design. The dial of the watch is finished with a black lacquered surface that gives great legibility to the big and simple shapes of hour markers and broad hour and minute hand. Even underwater, this watch is definitely super easy to read. The dial is protected by a sapphire crystal that comes with the Cyclops lens, which is of course one of the signature features of any Rolex with a date function. With the Cyclops lens, people will immediately recognize that you are wearing a Rolex. But more important than that, it makes it very easy to read the date and in my view gives the watch a bit more of excitement. It somehow always reminds me of those BMW motorcycles that featured one big and one small lamp at the front and made them look quite unique and interesting. I get the same feeling for the Cyclops lens on the Rolex watch. Inside the watch we find a 3235 movement which features self-winding via a rotor, a date function, runs at minus 2 to plus 2 seconds a day, has a second stop and has a power reserve of around 70 hours. And besides all this, the movement is one of the most robust ones out there in the market. Rolex movements are usually the best movements to rely on. And now it is time for a wrist shot on my 6.5 inch wrist. A loom shot. And for the watch score, I gave this watch the same score like the normal Black Submariner 126610LN, except for the weekend category, in which the green sub scored 10 out of 10. The bezel just pops a lot more, and you will get way more kudos for this one compared to the normal Black Submariner. So a deserved 10 out of 10. And with that, the watch scores a fantastic 88 out of 100 and is currently the leader of my watch score board. And with that guys, we're at the end of the video. Enjoy a few last wrist shots of this beauty. I am completely in love with it. And again, a big thank you to my Rolex AD for making this dream come true. What a banger watch, guys. Stay healthy, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye bye.